So it's been three hours since I played Escape from Ever After. And by the way, excuse me for the crickets in the background. It's night and close to tree, so you'll hear that. I am speechless. This game being made by two people. Last I've known of an indie game who had a very, very small team and a handful amount of people working on a game and I ended up loving was Undertale and Hollow Knight. Now this one, I, 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 this one, two people. According by the end of the, the, the demo, it says run by two people. And that's why it's begging for people to review it. This game, whenever it comes out, it, I want to... And if it ends up being good, if it's not rushed in anything, if no publisher ruins anything, if everything goes well, I will talk about this game to others for years. The amount of quality and the polish the demo has right now. It is Nintendo quality, guys. <laughs> and I'm so glad that we get so many inspirations from old RPGs. And they're bringing it back in their own twist, their own creativity. I'm so glad. It's, it really feels like I'm playing a third installment, a third true installment of the Paper Mario series. Not Super Paper Mario, but a game after the Thousand Year Door. I feel like Super Paper Mario started to drift off from the main gameplay mechanic of what Paper Mario is known for. I heard the game is great story-wise, but I just could not get past the big gameplay. And many talk about Sticker Star being really bad and drifting farther and really far away from the gameplay, but no one talks about Super Paper Mario. The, the story must be really good, because if no one talks about that being the actual start of Paper Mario drifting off from its identity, I'll probably play in the future. But right now, Escape from Ever After feels like a third official Paper Mario game. The music that they're doing the writing I, I the inspiration i got from this game is obviously paper mario the plot from shrek one and a little bit of record ralph here and there the combat it really feels like a like thousand year door but a little bit more to it a lot of people who love paper mario should really play this game and it should be talked about. Uh, that's all I can say without spoiling much. I don't know if this will end up in the intro of my edited version of the live stream or not. But I don't know. But if it does, I hope you guys wishlist this game. I hope you guys follow their Twitter, the socials, if they have any. But please be respectful. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Um, welcome to Escape from Ever After Onboarding. This prologue version of the full game includes the game's introduction up to the end of an edited chapter one. Oh, an edited one. Interesting. If you enjoy your time playing our game, we'd appreciate it if you leave a review on Steam. Every single review helps more than you know. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy. Well, I hope so, too. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to read you one of my favorite stories. <laughs> Alright, I see you. Once upon a time, in a realm of lush forest and shimmering rivers, there lived a hero named Flint Buckler. For ages, Flint had valiantly pursued his quest to vanquish Tinder the dragon fearsome creature hidden away in her sprawling castle. 
Guarding untold riches and treasures. Flint's battle with Tinder were fierce and brutal, but alas, he never succeeded. Trying time and time again, Flint sought to bring an end to Tinder's reign, to a reign of terror. Their rivalry had become the stuff of legends, whispered among villagers as a tale of unyielding resolve. Hmm, kinda like Mario and Bowser. Once again, Flint found himself standing before the towering entrance of Tinder's castle, bracing himself for one final confrontation. The familiar fortress looming above, Flint's heart fluttered with anticipation, knowing that winning this final battle with Tinder would settle their age, ages old feud and determine his legacy as a hero. I like that he has a shield, not a sword or no weapon, just a shield. The heavy front door creaked open, the air crackling with tension, and Flint stepped inside. The entrance hall, blackened in a harsh fluorescent lighting, echoed with the smooth jazzy sounds of elevator music and a cheesy receptionist greeted Flint with a welcoming smile as he approached. Huh? What? Hang on. Uh, this isn't how I remember the story going. This will be the time I finally defeat Tinder. Then, I'll no doubt earn the respect and gratitude a hero like myself deserves. <laughs> huh, something seems different here. <laughs> no matter. Time to find Tinder and settle things once and for all. Okay, so... First thoughts, the art style... It's giving me a fusion, a... Um, obviously Paper Mario, but also somewhat of, uh, a hat in time. Could be the coloring. Welcome. Come on in, don't be shy. Have a seat. Hey there. Boy, you sure look like a fish out of water. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know who you are or what's going on, but I'm looking for Tinder the Dragon, owner of this castle. I bet you are, kid. I know this is all very confusing. Allow me to introduce myself. Mr. Moon, Regional Branch Manager. I'm the manager of these offices, and I know exactly who you are. In fact, I know everything about you. Flint Buckler, fairy tale hero adventurer. Really nothing we haven't seen before. Pretty run of the mill stuff. <laughs> he loves his own jokes. So, let's address the elephant in the room. Your arch nemesis Tinder no longer owns this castle. We do, and by we, I'm talking about Ever After Inc. Oh, we do. Okay, I read that a little weird, so he meant we do. What is this Ever After Ink you all keep talking about? Can I write with it? Huh? Kid, you crack me up. We're talking ink as in incorporated. We're the largest conglomerate in the world. The real world, that is. Opie? Uh, I don't know how to read that. Look at me getting ahead of myself. So, all this around you, it's a storybook. You're in a storybook, and your quest to defeat Tinder the Dragon is all part of that storybook. Fortunately for you, Ever After Inc. discovered a way to enter storybooks as part of their mission to expand their brand. 
and we bring the comfort of the modern world to those who live among the com confines of fiction, such as yourself. Okay, so you have two options here. One, you can turn around and leave. Or two, you can join all the other fairy tale folks and apply for a job. We're always looking for team players to join the Ever After Inc. family, Ever After Inc. family, and you'll be a great fit. All those other folks in the office used to be just like you, storybook characters, chained to the whims of their creators, doomed to live out the same tired old tale over and over again. Uh, so not only does it feel like Shrek 1, it also feels like Wreck-It Ralph. Okay, okay. Heck, I used to be a storybook character too until Ever After Inc. came and liberated me. A children's book, if you can believe it. Anyway, kid. To be told, you human characters are pretty popular with corporate. With just a bit of grit and hard work, you might even become a mid-level manager like me someday. You understand what I'm saying here? Um... Yeah, I get it now. This is all a trick. Tinder set this all up to trick me into leaving. <laughs> She's really feeling the threat and She's really feeling threatened. That threatened by me, huh? Oh, that? Well, the ruse is up. I'm going to defeat Tinder, but first I'll start with you. <sighs> so it's really gonna be this way, huh, kid? What a disappointment. Guards? Throw him in the dungeon. I don't have time to do for deluded lunatics. Yes, sir. Yeah, it did seem like it was a trap from the, his arch enemy. Sure, I will save the game. If <laughs> final awake. Let me guess. You came to my castle yet again to try and defeat me. And now, in a final cruel twist, I'm stuck in here with you. I literally couldn't not imagine a worse fate. Uh, well, I know you. Don't give me that, Flint. I know you dim, but you can't be that dim. Tender? Is that you? You're so small. Yes, of course, it's me, you fool. In this pitiful form, I'm still the greatest and most powerful dragon that ever lived. You should be quivering in fear. Tinder the dragon, scourge of the kingdom? But small. Heh, <laughs> I don't even recognize you. You're just so tiny. A minor inconvenience, that's all. One day, I was minding my own business when a whole army of these crooks stormed my castle and started tr trashing the place. For a dragon like me, invaders are nothing new. I dispelled, I dispelled them regularly with ease. As you know, firsthand. But before I could destroy these brutes, they used some technology to disarm me and trick me down into a pitiful form you see before you. After ever after ink. Ah, so you've been introduced. You see, this collar around my neck? It's somehow restricting my fire breathing and keeping me from doing any real damage. Uh, but once I get out of this cell and take back my castle, they'll be begging for mercy. Can't you take off the collar? Uh, think I have tried? It's no use. It's indestructible. I'll be stuck in this puny form until I find a scheming moon manager and force him into removing it. Wow, that's... I mean... I came here to fight you. I feel kinda bad now. You think I'd still crush... Uh, you think I can't still crush you in a fight? 
<laughs> I've changed my mind. Now that I'm seeing you like this, I don't really want to rub salt into the wound. <laughs> it's all I'm saying. Well, too bad. You're going to regret coming here. Oh. Ugh, this is so humiliating. You got lucky, Flint. You did okay, considering the state you're in. You did? Uh, I mean, uh, of course I did. What do you expect? Look, we have to get out of here. Let's put our differences aside for a second and... Differences? Need I remind you that you're the one who keeps coming to my castle to bother me? All I wanted was some peace and quiet. That's not the whole story and you know it. But my point still stands. We need to get out of here. Well, maybe we're in luck. Those goons left the key just sitting there right outside the bars. A bunch of amateurs. Clearly, proper, cl proper key placement is Dungeon 101. Anyways, why don't you throw your buckler and pick it up? I could obviously get it myself, but doing these kinds of dull tasks is beneath me. Oh, is that why you've been sitting in here by yourself for who knows how long? Don't test me, Flint. Just go grab the key by throwing the buckler through the bars now. <laughs> um, I, so far, so good. Their interaction is basically what... Mario and Luigi would be because Tinder's reacting like how Bowser should be and Flint is kind of like Mario but with sass Well Tinder you fought well I did didn't I no thanks to your help even in this form. I still got it All right Anyways, I decided we can travel together, but only because you clearly need my protection only I'm allowed to defeat you, understand? I'll be coming with you to ensure these corporate goons don't get the job done before I have a chance to. So you're saying we should team up? Absolutely not! We're just temporarily working together to get out of here so I can banish Ever After Inc. from my castle. Then we can get back to fighting and I can finish destroying you. Okay, whatever. Sounds like a plan. As I said, I'm not joining the party. If anything, you're joining my team. Don't forget it. Anyways, as you know, I can breathe fire. Only a little bit, though. This Ever After Ink Collar prevents me from wrecking havoc like I used to, but I can still ignite some flammable objects. Oh, for example, until torches, uh, unlit torches and bracket banners like these. Press X to activate, to use the flame. We got tutorials. Oh, we got, gotta, gotta be closer. Uh, oh, this one did it. Uh, got to be... Uh, oh, you can, oh, oh, you, I'm not reading the instructions. Try to burn anything that looks suspicious. You never know what you find. They've barricaded this door shut again. We'll need to find another way out. If I remember correctly, there's a secret passage somewhere in this room. Let's find it. Man, I'm loving this. All right, team. Grab as much as you can carry. This is one of the only treasure stores that Ever Ink, Ever After Ink hasn't found yet. Aye, aye, boss. Hey! Get your hands off my gold. Your gold? This stash used to belong to a dragon named Tinder. You confused or something? You got just as much as right as to <laughs> we got just as much a right to 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 this here gold as anyone else 
Oh my god. Do not give up on reading, guys. I am tender, you fool! <laughs> yeah, right, pal. Tinder's supposed to be a big and intimidating. And you are, well, look at ya! Yeah, you're not fooling anyone, bud. How about I burn you alive as a demonstration? Tinder, relax. Let's just talk this out. Nobody messes with my gold. Least of all, some shrimpy little rodents. Again, pal. Not your gold. Tinder or not, it belongs to Ever After Ink now. And, well, they're certainly not gonna miss it if we skim off this one little stash. <laughs> Maybe we'll even give you a small cut if you quit your whining. That's it! I'm giving you three seconds to scram before I make you wish you'd never been born. Three. <laughs> You're messing with the wrong mice, pal. Two. Uh, boss, this character is looking really familiar. Are we sure Tinder isn't? One. We're waiting. Time's up. Prepare to face my wrath. Bring it. Oh. It's stacking time, so this is the the boss fight music. Um. Hold on a second. Yeah. That did not make him fall. All right. Sure. Did not get burned, but it stumbled. Oh, shoot. Uh, I need Tinder, so let's just give Tinder a muffin. Now. Let's use Flaming Fury. I deflected all. That's right. Hmm. Uh. I would encourage first. Now, oh, Flint's gonna go. Oh, no, health share. Oh, no, you lost a team member. Until they revive, you will be unable to swap them out. And if both current teammates fall, then it's game over. Don't panic. When a teammate falls in battle, you can use the other partner to perform a health share. The teammate will give half of their remaining health to the fallen partner. Oh, wow. Um, I do need him. Okay. If I lose, this is more on my overconfidence. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, let's disarm this guy. Incapacitated. Oh, dang it. I'm in such a bad spot. Uh, yeah. 
Looks like a do-over. Yep, a do-over it is. Dang. Well, that went by too fast. Like, the game over to back to the main menu, that was uh, way too fast. Alright. Um, here's one thing I would say. To avoid repeating a cutscene if you lose, having the option to skip would be nice, but it can only be applied if you've seen this cutscene before. Like, the game would have to recognize that you game over something. Maybe they can just, like, you can pause the game, it freezes, and then it asks you if you want to skip it. Something like that. That would be nice. Like, it'll go directly to the battle. Because I could have to, now I have to mash. And level up. HP, TP, or MP. We don't have any trinkets yet, so let's... Oh, you can decide? Oh, that's nice. Okay, okay, give up. You win. You're lucky you still have your riskers. But alas, the mighty and powerful Tinder is feeling merciful today. You really are Tinder, huh? How the mighty have fallen. Now look at you. You're a shrimp. I mean, uh, you're just as much smaller than we expected, that's all. Funny how they called three blind mice, but that one can... Ski tender. Hmm. Once I get off this collar device that was forced around my neck, I'll be back to my normal imposing size. And I certainly won't be needing to fight alongside my sidekick here. Sidekick, really? Ah, so you've been collared. Ever after Ink really did a number on ya. Don't feel bad. They've done much worse to much stronger storybook folks. Be grateful they only neutralize you. So who are you, mice, anyway? And why are you do why are you down here? We're the three blind mice. More specifically, like my name's Nickel, I'm Penny, and I'm Scratch. Nice to be acquainted. Seemingly not blind. Okay, that's part of the joke. Okay. <laughs> part of us? We're loyally employee. We're loyal employee of Ever After Inc. now. As for why we're down here, well, we're not so loyal that we don't won't skim some gold off the top when the opportunity arises. <laughs> You're from a book of nursery rhymes? Why would you leave a cushy cushy? How do you say that? Because she placed like that to go work for a horrible company like Ever After Inc. First off, notice how us three blind mice aren't blind anymore? Yep, that's right. Dental and vision insurance. Then optom optometrists fixed us right up. Besides, the book we come from, the that land of nursery rhymes and other fables, it's been totally destroyed, of course. Uh-huh. That's kind of what this company does. They come into a book, zap the world off all its resources, employ the, employ the characters that they deem able enough to work, and leave the rest to a, leave the rest a wreck. Yep, storybooks are an untapped market. Valuable resources, cheap labor, and most importantly, profit to the made to be made. 
It was only a matter of time before someone did something about it. That's insane. Who do those... Who do these scumbags think they are? I'll tell you who they think they are. They're the largest conglomerate in all the universe. They're not from storybooks like us. They're from the real world. And they do... And they can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. Maybe so. But once we get out of this dungeon, we're taking them down. How do you your minds? This isn't some fairy tale folk tale no more. It's over. You're done. And believe me, they have a little tolerance for rebellious main characters such as yourself. That collar they forced on you? They just... That's just the beginning. You can't win here, fellas. Sorry. So what do you suggest we do? You really want to make a difference here? Get a job. Work your way up. You could do far more damage to ever after ink from behind a desk than from the jail cell. <laughs> ha! I, Tinder, the most powerful dragon who ever lived, as a desk jockey. No thank you. Suit yourself, pal. Anywho. It was nice meeting ya and all, but it's time for us to skedaddle. See ya. Nice knowing ya. Bye. Seriously, guys. Consider what the boss is saying. If we hadn't complied, we would have disappeared with the rest of our story. All tender? What do you think? What do I think? It's ludicrous. You can't seriously be considering getting a job. Ugh, let's just get out of here. After that, you can do whatever you want. My spare key is in that chest. We can use it to skip the dungeon. Thanks for bringing these troublemakers to me, boys. Clint and Tinder, come have a seat. So, Flint, you broke out of the dungeon, and to top things off, you busted your old pal Tinder out as well. What am I doing? What am I to do with you? Actually, uh, I decided I don't want a job here after all. In fact, both of us want jobs. Well, that's fantastic! <laughs> The higher-ups are going to be so pleased to hear I recruited a new human employee. So, Tinder, you're on board with this as well? No hard feelings about the collar, eh? Looks great on you. I'll murder you in your sleep for disrespecting me like this. How dare you, you oversized... Ahem. I mean, uh, yes, this collar is acceptable. I want to work at your incredibly interesting, not evil at all, corporation. It's always been my dream to be a loser, a loser desk jockey at this bottom feeding institution. Glad to hear it. So what happened now? Don't get ahead of yourself, kid. <laughs> you still need to apply like everyone else. But since I'm a busy moon, I'll just cut the. I'll just cut to the chase and enter you both right now. I'm simply going to ask you a few questions to get to know you, and I want you to answer as best as you can. Easy stuff, alright? Okay, let's do this. Welcome to your job interview. As you know, my name is Mr. Moon, and I'm going to be your manager, should you be working here. Now, let's get right into it and start with the softball question. What's the name of the company you're applying for? Ever After Inc? Correct! And you know your stuff, kid. Way to go! First thing I want you to know about working in, at Ever After Inc. is that we're all just a big family here. We support each other. <laughs> That means we come in early. In fact, most folks like to stick around after hours, too. They'll stick around after hours? Oh god. To get their work done. That's just, that's just the kind of place we are. 
We work hard and we play hard. All right, next question. What do you want? Why do you want to work here? Interesting, there's no timer. I think this is the right answer. But I think that would be too much. Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, you are passionate about the corporation. You're so passionate that I'm secretly trying to figure out how to take it down. Wow, what a coincidence. Me too. I just think they make the world a better place. Okay, good. Here's another one for you. What can you bring to the company? Problem solving skills. Oh yeah? Then solve this. What goes all the way around the world but stays in the corner. You? Ha! <laughs> Love it! Giving me a bit of sweet talk, huh? I'm not gonna pretend I don't like the flattery. You'll go far here, kid. Okay, okay, one last question. What's your biggest weakness? Uh... I'm a perfectionist. That must be really tough, kid. I'm a perfectionist too. And I was bullied all throughout my childhood for it. We perfectionists gotta stick together. Society just isn't ready to accept us for who we are. Well, kid, that concludes the interview. Let's see how you did. There's a scoring? After assessing all your answers and weighing my options, I made my final decision. You're hired! Congratulations, both of you! We're excited to have you join the Ever After Inc. family. Uh-huh. How much this job pay? <laughs> what a great question! Such a great question, in fact, that I just remembered I have an important meeting coming up shortly. Starla, my secretary, will take care of things from here. Go outside and see her, and she'll set you up with a desk and give you the layoff, the lay of the land. And please, don't be a stranger. If anything's on your mind, you're welcome to swing by anytime. See you later, folks. Uh huh. There's Starfy. I mean, uh, Starla. Hello, LinkedIn Tender. Welcome to this library. This machine behind me is called a telepager. It can send you into the world of any book. That is, any book the company approves, personal trips are not allowed. Here's your assigned storybook. And of course, to get home, you'll need a copy of the story we're in right now. That's a fourth wall breaker. <laughs> the Adventure of Flint Buckler? So we're in this story right now? So I'm holding the whole world in my hands. If I destroy this book, will everything here cease to exist? No. Once a story is written, its world exists. Book copies just serve as portals into those worlds. Ah. Whoa, I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. What? Our story is named after you? Are you kidding me? Is my entire life purpose just to serve as the antagonist in your story? Ugh, please excuse me while I have an existential crisis. When you're ready, place the three little pigs in onto the machine and jump in. Happy travels! I want to pat Tinder, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 
there's chapter one. Yo. This is a packed demo. Wow, here we are. Three little pigs. Can't believe we're inside another storybook. Wow, fascinating. Let's just get this over with. Simulating enough to be stuck traveling with you, but doing Ever After Ink's bidding like some common pencil pusher is truly degrading. Well, I don't love this either, but can you at least try to enjoy yourself? We're on an adventure. Adventure? Give me a break. All we have to do is go find the three little pigs and help them convince the villagers to vacate their land. No doubt it's slimy, but it will be a piece of cake. I'm not sure it'll be easy. According to the story, they're also a big bad wolf. You gotta watch our we gotta watch out for. The sun mangy mutt is the worst thing here, then I'd say we're in pretty good shape. Come on, the construction site should be pretty close to here. I like how this place is drawn out. Oh, the save. Mm, oh, we get that. I, I thought I. I could, uh... It hit me first! The battle music is different. Nice touch. This one's totally different. Welcome to our construction site. I give you the tour, but I got better stuff to do than escorting around a couple of gawking city slickers. So here's the situation. You got this construct contract, say. Even after ink brought even ever after. <laughs> I gotta register that name in my head. Ever after ink bought all this land to develop it into prime real estate and hired us pigs to manage the project. Problem is, there's a dainty village of wolves resting in our prime plot of land and they ain't leaving. Wolves? Yeah, wolves. To be told, it'd be easier to just bulldoze that darn place. But it'd be bad look for us, for corporate. So, you gotta convince their leader to accept our offer. What's the offer? We'll give all them wolves a 5% rent reduction in our apartments once, uh, on our apartment once they're reconstructed. For the duration of one year. 5%? Pretty darn fair for some good for nothing furballs, if you ask me. Their leader is just over here, and he's a real pain in the you know what. Come with me. First of all, I'm sorry if that accent I'm trying to do is annoying. I'm trying to get engage in the story. Hi, your friends. My name's Wolfgang, renowned musician of the woods and current representative of my fellow townsfolk. How did you do? Doing okay, thanks. I heard you were having some doubts about Ever After's construction project here. They asked me to come speak with you. What seems to be the problem? Oh, gee. It's so nice of you to come all the way here. But thing is, our happy little village is perfect the way it is. I'm no landscaper, but we like our trees green and our water blue. Just a personal preference though, no judgment towards you folks who like things a little, well, browner. That's understandable, but have you considered the incredible offer you'd be getting? 5% off all rent once the apartments are finished? Ahem. For the duration of the year! Um, that's right. 5% off rent for a year. That's a really kind offer, and I appreciate it. But, 
we're just happy in our humble little homes right now. He's not buying it, Flint. What are you going to do? I like the little guy, so... Look, I'm a fairy tale character too. And I understand what it feels like to have your life up... Appended? By this new way of doing things. Sure, you could drag your feet and resist. I could? No, no. What I'm saying is that you could risk your homes and possibly even your lives by standing up to these pigs. But, you know what? I think you're right. I can do these things. Anything is possible. I wasn't totally confident, but you've really shown me the value in standing up for myself. That's it! We've tried things... We've tried things corporate's way, but I have enough. The heck with all this red tape. We're just gonna go in there and bulldoze the entire village tomorrow. With... Or without permission. Now you three nitwits need to get off my construction site. None of you are welcome here anymore. Officer Boar! Uh, everything uh, alright over here? Get this wash up here on his shrimpy lizard psychic out of here. What did you just call me? Alright folks, come with me. Don't make things difficult for me here. Lizard sidekick. Sorry, but you're banned from the uh, premises. Boss's orders. Oh, that was a bust. <laughs> Those pigs are gonna pay for calling me a lizard. A lizard? As if the greatest, most powerful dragon the world has ever seen could be compared to the likes of a common reptile. I'll show them who the lizard is. I'm burning this place down. Uh, as I, uh, told you earlier, this straw is undestructible and pyroproof. You, uh, won't be getting through here, friend. And you should feel really bad for uh, making fun of me earlier. <laughs> Dang it! Calm down, okay? So what's the plan now? We can't get back in the site, and we failed to negotiate. Forget, forget the job. I'll get my revenge and rain fire upon these pathetic pigs. Sure you will, Tender. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but thanks for standing up for me back there. Uh, uh no problem. We're, we were definitely there to stand up for you. Not to protect the interest of our company? You're too kind. Allow me to officially introduce myself. Self proclaimed virtuous. Virtuosic superstar. I'm Wolfgang, the greatest musician in all the woods, but I'm sure you've heard of me. Nope. You haven't? Oh. Not to worry. You don't have to feel bad about your lack of music taste. I don't judge. Hang on. Do you happen to be related to the Big Bad Wolf? So you have heard of me. The Big Bad Wolf is my stage name, of course. I'm big. I know. I'm a wolf, most definitely. And I'm bad to the bone. Uh, huh. But none of that matters now. The, big, the pig said he's gonna bulldoze my humble village tomorrow, and I gotta stop him. It's okay. I have a plan. I'm going to get back in the construction site and peacefully convince the pig, the pig brothers, to spare our lovely village. And how are you gonna do that? With my wit, charm, and musical virtuosity. <laughs> That's so anime. Flint, I'm thinking this construction project seems pretty pivotal forever after Inc. We've been looking for a way to sabotage them, and I think this is it. If we could just get past this straw gate and into the construction site, 
You can destroy their equipment and mess up their plans. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wolfgang, since you're the big bad wolf, can't you blow that straw house away by huffing and puffing? You know, like how the fairy tale goes? What a strange question! No, I can't blow the straw house away. I don't really know what you're talking about. But seeing as how you we're both trying to get into the construction site, maybe we can team up? I promise I won't bite. Flint, you're not seriously considering letting this hag come with us. I don't think I can stomach another clown in the group. I'll be outnumbered. Tender, think about it. According to the story of the three little pigs, the Big Bat Wolf is the one blowing the pigs' houses down. He might not know how to do it right now, but the fairy tale says he will eventually. So, we should stick with him until that happens. <sighs> Suppose you're right, at this point. I'll take any chance to hurt this infernal company. You're in. Aww. I won't let you down. Promise. My main skill is music. And any time, I can whip out my loot and use it to harness the power of nature. For example, I can play a song to make sprouts grow. Let's try it. Pressing the axe. Oh. I can change with the Y. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh! The, the music is right there! <laughs> oh, that's amazing, Wolfgang. What other songs do you know? This, this one? Oh, I thought you were a famous musician. I'm working on it. But I'm a quick learner, so if you encounter any more songs in our adventures, I'll be sure to pick them up. Cutest thing! What's the plan? If I go if I gotta go back to the village to warn my fellow wolves, the pigs that the pigs are coming tomorrow with the why did the music suddenly go higher? Is it just me? And construction workers sometimes hang out there, but maybe one of them could help us get back into the construction site. Follow me. The village is just back this way. Yeah, I accidentally did that. But that was weird. That was way too loud all of a sudden. I immediately wanted to throw at something at you. Hey fellas, it's about time you made it up here. Scratch? What are you doing here? Did you get lost again? Nah, I just I actually just came here to warn you. You see, this is your last opportunity to save before you end all the game. So if you want to explore more, I reckon you better do that now. That's actually helpful. Thanks. Good luck. You'll need it. So, this is officially the end of the demo. Oh my god. I can't wait for this game to fully come out. Bro, I mean, a boss! They're here! These are the ones I was telling you about. Well, well, well. These are the filthy degenerates that have been causing problems in my construction site. Yeah, these jerks were sent here from corporate to help us, and they've turned us off. 
They turn on us. Very different. He destroyed my house. Pitiful. No matter. I built my house out of brick because I'm the only sibling with even a mo modicum of intelligence. That's impenetrable. I beat these peasants up the best of luck in trying to dismantle it. <laughs> Alright, Wolfgang. You know what to do next. Actually, according to the story, a house of bricks won't be blown off. Phew. As if it could be fooled by a light breeze. Uh-oh. That didn't work. We gotta try something else. Don't worry. I got this. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Let me in. Not by a hair of my chin. Huh? You know what? I've had enough of this. <laughs> okay. So... we first gotta do is research this thing. Oh! Multiple parts? Okay. Quit with the state-of-the-art weaponry, this impenetrable brick house is piloted by the youngest of the pig siblings. The arms are controlled by each of its older brother. Oh. And do a lot of damage, trying to tank them out first, and then the house. Okay. So. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, immediately. Oh my god. They're so dead. Has 18. Hold on. Can still shield him. Lock those though. Oh my god. I actually don't know which is worse the drill or the saw. Gonna immediately destroy him. I still need the shielding part. God. Uh, yeah, items, items, items. Where's the Do this. I need to gain points. Oh. I need to heal, buddy, though. Or throw this? Oh, the arm's gone. That could be bad, because I don't know how they come back. 
But whatever happens, I gotta shield him. Give him a muffin. And then I'll do the buff. The buff. Good, that's good, that's good. Block. Just throw the coins, just block. Have a crack at it. Uh, do this. I didn't. I didn't time that well. them. But my house! You destroyed it! How dare you! I'll make you pay. You think I won't get my hooves dirty? I'm a pig, remember? I was born rolling around in the mud, and I'm not scared to return to it. I'll drag you down with me if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, it's round two for sure. Did he do? I did not like that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Oh good, they got burned. Slap? Okay. Okay, that's a nice block. I do need that buff, though. Perfect. I'm not protected anymore. Nice, nice. Uh, let's do this. Defense buff. Uh, 
Oh, it's coming. <sighs> Alright, uh, I need to heal. or something? I don't know about that. I need the coffee, so... Okay. I gotta switch around. on you. Oh, each of you had one, and I got rid of him. Oh, I did not stun! out of here. I do not how to... I don't know how to block that one. You're done. Improve on HP. Uh, you? Ugh, how'd this happen? Gee, bro, you're in pretty bad shape. Let's get out of here. It ain't over yet, bub. 
did it, friends. The village is saved. We're gonna be so famous. I'm already brainstorming some ideas for a new concept. Concept album based off our adventures. We'll call it Wolfgang and the Big Bad Beat Crafters. That's kind of long. Yeehaw! City slickers sure have some moves. Literally none of us are from the city. Thanks. We're happy to help. What are you unicorns gonna do now that the pigs are gone? We're leaving this place for greener pastures. Well, this corporation threatening us, we don't want to work this dead-end job no more. Alright, friends, let's go back to the village to spread the happy news. Attention, everyone. We did it. We stopped the three little pigs and Ever After Inc. from bulldozing our village for their construction project. Oh gosh, Wolfgang. I hope you didn't cause too much trouble with our poor sign neighbors. They were just the nicest folks I ever met. No, but that's what I'm saying. They weren't very nice af uh, after all. They were planning to destroy our entire village to build some apartments. Oh gee, that can't be true. I'm sure we would have been we would have heard something about it if that was the case. Yep, those pigs never mentioned a word about it. Oh sweet Wolfgang, you tend to be carried away sometimes. I hope you enjoyed showing your new friends around though. We still can't thank you enough for fixing the windmill for us. The tourists love it. Enjoy the rest of the stay here and happy how hollow. It's okay, my buddies are grateful in their own way. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd like to keep traveling with you guys. Worlds of storybooks to explore. Sounds exciting. Um, well that might be a bit... Fine by me. You proved yourself to be quite useful. Anyways, it seems we're done here. With their construction project no longer operational, Ever After Inc. should be sufficiently crippled. I bet they're already packing up and leaving as we speak. Gee, Tender, is that really how big corporations work? I'm not sure this is the end, but I guess we'll find out. And there it is. The end of the demo. If you're excited about playing uh, Escape from Ever After when the full game is released, you can wishlist it. If you enjoyed your experience, we kindly ask you to leave a review on Steam. Seriously, leave a review. <clears throat> Please. It really does help. Rumor has it, this game is being developed by a core team of only two people? Yeah, they're going to need all the help they can get. Thank you so much again for playing. Hi! Two people! Two people. Two people. 